Okay, welcome everyone to my channel. I want to thank you for coming. All right, this video is going to be a quick start guide to doing parks on the air. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I am not an expert at parks on the air. I am a promoter. I am a lover of parks on the air. POTA, P-O-T-A, parks on the air. I love parks on the air. It's great. I've had a good experience with it. But I, someone gave me a comment on my channel, and they said, could you do sort of a beginner's guide to Parks on the Air? What is it? Okay, first of all, go to parksontheair.com, and it's right here. And you're going to want to read this and understand it. So very simply, what it is, it's, it's, first of all, you need to understand there's a little history. There used to be summits on the air. Summits on the air is about summiting a mountain, right? So people would go to the top of a mountain. They would do summits on the air. They would make a contact or two, and they had some points, and there was like a community around it. The problem with that is not all of us have a mountain around us, right? So off of this, Parks on the Air was created for us, people that have a lot of parks around us that we can go to, and we have a community around this, that we can make contacts and we can have points and we can have a system and it becomes like this community. It can be, becomes like this thing where you can have a real world pile up. People are interested in this. And so you're not just going out on your own and saying CQ, 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 November 9, Yankee officer, please call back CQ, CQ, and no one answers. You're gonna go to a park, a designated park with instructions, which I'm gonna show you, and you're gonna call parks on the air, parks on the air, CQ, CQ, N9YO, CQ Parks on the Air, and people are going to come back to you with the idea of a community around you. You're going to have a community, right? And let's talk about that right now. So the very first thing I would do if I was going to do Parks on the Air, I'd start to think about what kind of parks are around me that are part of the system. Okay, so we're going to go to this. The link is parksontheair.com, okay? This is going to be everything you need to know. I'm just doing a quick start guide. I'm just going to get you started, okay? Let's just take a look at the maps. Now, I'm in the St. Louis area, okay? So we're going to zoom in here on the maps. All of these dots are official parks on the air, P-O-T-A. I'm just going to call it POTA from here on out. They're official parks, okay? So I'm going to zoom in on St. Louis. Look at all that. I mean, there's... There's a lot of stuff around you that you can work with, okay? So, let's start to talk about what's around me. Now, I live in this area. I am west of St. Louis, and I will drive down to Edmund Babbler Memorial State Park. We just call it Babbler. And you're going to go to a designated. Now, click on this and notice you're going to have to decide what park is near you that you want to activate. The first thing you're going to do, like I said, is you're going to find a park near you that's that's viable. You're going to be able to set up there. You know you're not going to get hassled or anything. Some of these parks are not necessarily viable. So you, you see what is this? This right here is not necessarily a park. Babbler Memorial State Park because it's a real state park. You can really set up there and you won't get hassled or anything. If you are interested in points and awards and all that you probably want to go and create an account so go here to account create an account log in do all that stuff i'm not going to go into the great details okay but they have a whole system in place for telling you who's the top activators who are the top hunters and we'll get into that in a second so let's just take a look around their website and you need to do some research yourself activator you if you're an activator you're the one going to the park you're setting up and people appreciate that because it's a lot of work right whether it's a mountain or if you're in california it's in a valley it's in death valley or it's in a park near me or near you wherever it is you're an activator you're activating a park and people want those points so people that are pursuing points in this community will want to talk to you okay so that's the value of it you become part of a community so if you're a hunter, now you have to think about some people are, they don't have the ability to go out to parks and set up and everything. There are a lot of people in ham radio that are disabled. Just because you can go out doesn't mean everyone else can. So they might be operating from home and they still want to do parks on the air. So you're doing a service for people. So there's also a point at which 
Okay, think about this. If you go out and you start calling, you just go out by yourself and you don't do anything and you set everything and you say, CQ, CQ, CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air, anyone out there, anyone out there, what will happen is nobody will come back, generally. CQ, CQ, anyone out there, anyone out there, parks on the air, parks on the air. Okay, so what you want to do is let people know you're out there. And there's what there's this thing called spotting. You tell people online that are looking for you and they are going to know you're going to be out there and they're going to know how to contact you and they're going to dial to your frequency and they're going to make the contact. Okay, so you want to spot yourself or have someone else spot you. There's another way to do that, and that is on Facebook. There is a Facebook page, which I do not have right now. I don't even, I don't use Facebook. I don't like it that much, so I don't use Facebook. But there's a Facebook page for Parks on the Air, and people will spot you, or you can spot yourself. That means someone will type in, hey, so-and-so is at this park at this time, and they're calling CQ. Everyone, everyone go out there and try to talk to them. So people will know, they'll get this alert that says, Oh, this guy's here at this time. I want these points. I don't have that part. And they'll go and they will find you. So you need to be spotted, as they say. They need You need to be promoted or advertised. That's what spotting means. And so let's take a look at the website itself. Let's not even worry about Facebook. That's a totally different beast, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But let me tell you my experience. So the first time I went out and... I was like, I said, parks on the air, parks on the air. No one answered parks on the air, parks on the air. And then one guy said, he came back to me on the air and said, hey, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spot you up on Facebook and the website, okay? And I said, thank you, thank you. I didn't know what that meant. But he went to Facebook and he typed in, hey, this guy is at this park at this frequency. And guess what? Guess what? People started coming back to me. And I got a pile up. A pile up is when people start like one after the other, after the other, after the other. They want to talk to you, okay? So you need to be spotted because people don't know you're out there. And that's the whole point of this. That's what spots are. They're very important. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go to this site and I clicked on POTA spots. And say you were like, you found somebody. You're going to go like, oh, I have a new spot. I'm going to click on this. And they're going to be like, I think what this is, is you're going to fill out this form and let everyone else know on the internet that someone is out there. Okay, I'm the spotter. Let's say I'm at home. I'm at home. And someone else is out there. He's activating a park. He is on what frequency is he on? Oh, wait. He's on... That I don't know what reference is and I don't know what comments are, but if you submit that spot, you're telling everyone out there there's someone on a park that's tr that wants to talk to you, okay? So you're going to spot them up. That's what this website is for. And I'm going to add there is a, a Facebook site that does the same thing, which has even more people. So there's like two, there's at least two different types of spotting, okay? That's what spotting is. Okay. So there's another piece of this. Let's say you know that you've got some free time and you're going to go out on Saturday morning and you know you've got from 12 to 2 p.m. and you're going to be out there at this park at this time. So what you'd want to do is do a POTA scheduler. P-O-T-A. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go ahead and schedule myself. Now you might need to log in. You might need an account. But you're going to tell everyone out there, I'm going to be at this date, at this time, I'm going to be activating this park, K, in my case, K1745, at this frequency, at, and you're going to give them, you're going to give them some advanced warning so people know, okay? So that's what this is. That's why you need an account, okay? And you're going to schedule I don't like to schedule because I never know when I'm going to be out because I've got so much going on. I just never know when I have a free hour or two, okay? All right. All of that being said, let's hit the field and let's go see what it's like to activate a real park. And I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to make some contacts. Let's go.
So I'm back at the same spot that I've been at a few times. I like it here, it's comfortable. Typically there's no one in this area, so I don't have, I'm not distracted except today it's warm and so there's lots more people here. Okay, the goal right now for me is to get set up as fast as possible. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my pack tenna straight up. I'm gonna try to get vertical, kind of an equal radiation pattern. I don't want a, a directional radiation pattern. So I'm gonna go straight up and down and hopefully get a big donut going on. Uh, I also wanna do this rapidly. I don't wanna spend a lot of time, you know, setting things up. Okay, one of the reasons I chose this spot is because right underneath it is a very tall tree that will be easy to throw a line into. I have this, I have a weight. All of these things will be linked in the description if you're interested in them. I have this very thin line. If you ever throw into a tree, you want to use very thin line. Otherwise, it will get caught and there'll be too much friction and it won't want to come down. You don't have to use very much weight if you're very thin. Okay. Why do you use a long wire? Why go through the trouble of going through the tree? Because a long wire is very effective. It's the most effective thing I've ever found to use. I've tried to use whips. I've tried to use super antennas and things like that, but this is the most effective. There's a good idea to bring extra of everything. And I do that now in my utility bag. The reason, because what I did was I had my coax cable and I was just throwing it around. It go, everything is muddy. It goes into the mud, mud gets into my connector. It gets into my connector and I can't connect it to my antenna. So I had to take it off I'm gonna have to wash it out later, and I had to put a new one on. Okay, so this is actually very important. This is the BioNO Power BPP120. It has AC power in the back. My, my Sony camera that you're watching right now, it has very terrible battery life. So I'm going to AC power that camera, which I have to do or it'll just run out of battery in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn this on, turn it on, AC power. So cool. It's also got USB, but I use this every single trip because my battery life is horrible on my Sony camera. Okay. So I'm tuned up 14.225. That is the beginning of the novice band. 14.225 on up to 14.335 or something like that. So I want to be on the novice band so as many people as possible. All right. My friend just, he put me on Facebook. And he also put me on Parks in the Air, so I'm gonna start calling CQ and see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Is this frequency in use? N9YO calling, is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? It's funny how it was quiet for a long time. The second I said something, someone was there and it was something unrelated. Anyway. Is this frequency in use? N9YO calling, is this frequency in use? CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air, N9YO calling, CQ parks on the air, K1745 Babbler Memorial. Okay, things get away from you very fast, so I heard that the bands are fading on 14 megahertz, so I'm, jo I'm dropping down to 40 meters, which should be good for a long time, 7.235, I should have just started here, but I'm all tuned up and ready to go. Calling CQ, Babbler Memorial in Missouri. I got a call sign. Could you please say it again? Kilo Echo 8 Golf Mic Echo. Kilo Echo 8 Golf Mic Echo. You are uh, maybe a 4-9 here in Babbler Memorial, Missouri. K1745. Parks on the air. You are a 4-9 here in Babbler Memorial. Parks on the air. Babbler Memorial. Parks on the air. K1745. Thank you for the 4-4. I'm trying to, you're my first Parks on the Air contact today. I'm trying to get to 10 before it gets dark, but thank you so much, Dan. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad to be your first contact here for Parks on the Air. Uh, what was your hand or your call sign again, please? November 9, Yankee Oscar, N9YO.
7-3 and thank you very much. CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, N9YO calling, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling, CQ Parks on the Air, from Babbler Memorial in Eastern Missouri. Whiskey 4, Charlie Radio Golf. Whiskey 4, Charlie Radio Golf, I have you at a loud and clear 5-9 here in Babbler Park, Missouri. I got a 4-4 in North Carolina. Thank you very much. You are sounding pretty good here in Eastern Missouri at Babbler Park. Thank you for my second Parks on the Air. All right, good luck, 7-3. 7-3. So I haven't had a whole lot of luck. I've got, I had two contacts and the sun's going down on me. I don't feel like I need to get 10. Okay, well that was fun. Um, I hope you learned at least a little bit. Um, Probably don't go out during the Super Bowl or something like that if you're trying to make 10 contacts. Doesn't matter though, it's long, I, the way I see it, if you make one contact and you have some fun and you learn something, I had some equipment problems. You know what's amazing is how fast time goes when you're doing something like this. Like it seems like I was here like 10 minutes ago and then before you know it, bang, uh, 20 meters closed, the band closed. No one was listening so I dropped to 40 just as soon as I got here. You know I should have just went straight to 40. Um, I didn't have that much success, but I had some fun. It is so nice to be outside, you know, in some decent weather. I'm in shorts, it's crazy. Uh, you wanna take a look around? I'll show you. This, this is why I'm leaving. The sun has gone.